Okay, just a quick update. Let me fix this speaker grill first. Okay. There you go. All right. Um, so, I've done quite a bit of work in the last couple of weeks here. Um, a lot of the things on these production cars just were not on or are not on the prototype. They weren't put on for the reason that there was a prototype and I need to do all that. Um, but these, since they're going to folks, I want to make sure I, I put my best foot forward on these and get them done the right way. So you'll notice this treatment at the pillar, right? This entryway. Got the water channel here all the way around. Um, the door jam, of course. Um something that the prototype did not have. None of this did it have. The weather stripping will go up here once I finish getting all that cleaned up. And again, this is rough, I gotta clean it all up. But the idea was to get it done um, and just get it in place. Uh, also, I'm building up these, um, the top of the doors here, uh, like the actual Corvette. The prototype, I didn't have all this built up. Um, but I'm doing it now and, and I'm actually going to have this, uh, this uh, STL redone so that it actually is a com uh, the way it's supposed to be on these production cars. This is uh, the last, I think, STL I got to do um, uh, so that when the guys that are building these cars get their models, they'll just be able to put this in place versus doing what I'm doing with it. Um, and this stuff here, these are simply strips that are trimmed and put in place. just takes a little time. Um, but I do like the way it turned out. Um, and if you'll look, let's see here if I can find it for you. There we are. Okay. So I took a little time and really cleaned up this connection here. So when they close, it just closes nice and cleanly. Okay. All this has got to get filled in. All this got to get cleaned up. But I had to rough it in, and now I'm, I'm happy with where it is. Same on the other side here. You see how it fits? Nice and clean. The panels. I apologize. Here we are. It's better, I think. Nice and clean. Uh, got the little pillars hitting the dash exactly where I want them. I'll have to line it all up. Speaking of lining it up, you look at the, uh, close this door. You look at the um, lines on it, the panels. They look pretty good. I'm happy with them. I wasn't for a while, but I got the doors right finally. Got them lined up. The door over here looks good. All these look nice. look inside here again that's what that looks like as I build it up there again the prototype didn't have rear door jams and all these other pieces it had a lot of stuff this door this side is next as I build this up I got to add the uh, pieces here for the trim clean the doorways up get the water water channel in there and the weather stripping as well um, and then I'll of course build this up too And you'll see the dash. I've actually roughed in the uh, trim piece here for the dash. Uh, it actually connects, um, it hides the seam between the body and the dash. It also serves to, um, let me pull this up here for you. It serves, this is a rough piece I use to help keep the uh, windshield in place, right? On the bottom down there, so. And I just cover it all up with these windshield trim pieces here. <clears throat> I just roughed these in place, just stuck them here, just see how things were fitting. And I'm pleased with it, um, except for this piece. It needs to be a little longer. I'm not sure. I did change this piece, and I think I made it a little longer, and I forgot to increase the length here. So what I believe I'm gonna do is shorten this 
Um, I want to keep it scale. And the scale, um, these meet up fairly well. Up top they don't, but I'm going to change that a little bit. Not a big deal. That's why I put it on there, make sure it fits the way I want it to. Um, and these cars, because of the production cars, they did kind of get redone from the, from the uh, prototype. I've done a few things differently. This particular car here, as a friend of mine I've known for several years, and he is very particular uh, with his models. And I'm particular with, uh, with it as well to get it out of here the way he wants it and the way I want it. And so this car will be getting a little different treatment. For example, this shift console won't be plastic, right? Um, the steering wheel won't be plastic. Um, so it'll be a nice little touch, a few touches here and there. Um, for this car but just an update um i think next time i show it i'll have this um <clears throat> i have this doorway finished i'll have the uh both sides this built up i'll have the entryway cleaned up the water channel here and the weather stripping up here i'll have that finished i'll have um, at least the correct windshield trim there. And um, I've already started working on the bumpers, all right? I've started uh, sanding these already. Um, they take quite a bit of work, but they're worth it once they get done. So as I go here, bits and pieces are getting done. Um, so just want a quick update more later. Oh, you know what? Let me show you this. This came out very nicely when I put the gap in there. I have no idea how I missed this gap. It's just so, so wide. Don't know why. I have to add material here. The rest is okay. Um, but the, but the hood gaps will look good, right? I love the lines, I love the body panels on that. They meet very cleanly, you know? No crazy bowing there, I clean that up. Just a really clean, clean fit. So hopefully I can have this thing done, I will have it done rather, in the next couple of weeks. Um, hopefully next by next weekend. I just wanna get this off my, off the plate because um, Get this one off the plate, and that one's next, and then that one, and then this one. So, thanks much.